Hello everyone, do you know that there's 92 changes that have been done to GTA Online? If you don't know all of them, bring your drink, sit down, and let's go through them because this video is going to be long. Before we start, please like the video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell icon so you get notified with the new uploads. So we're going to start from the most obvious changes that most of the people knows about them already and let's see what they are. 60 new Super React Life missions has been added to GTA Online. Players who own a Galaxy Super React can launch this 1 to 4 players co-op missions. Anyone can be invited. These missions can be accessed from the bridge of the yacht or by calling the captain and choosing to request a job by just simply by calling the captain and request a job after you finish all the missions then nine open wheel races has been added to gta online the open wheel race creator has been added to gta online for me they're not really interesting. Uh, the Diamond Advisory series with the new 4 to 8 player variant of 8 existing advisory modes has been, have been added to GTA Online. This takes place in the Diamond Casino Resorts. For me, again, this is not really interesting. I'm not really into the advisory uh, series. Two new business battle has been added to GTA Online like the one you're watching right now. This new business battle have players compete over 8 packages in comparison to the uh, 2 packages in a previous released business battle. The new uh, business battles, there are the aircraft carrier assaults which is the one you're watching right now and factory raid. New vehicles has been added to GTA Online can be purchased from either the Southern San Andreas Super Autos or Legendary Motorsports website. In total, there are nine, and then six variants of existing vehicles have been added to GTA Online and can be upgraded at Benny's Original Motor Works. Then one new drug vehicle random encounter has been added to GTA Online. You can just find them in the uh, in in uh, in free roam, and this will make itself available to players while exploring Los Santos. So you can just encounter them whenever, just by chance, and the pay is not much. It's uh, like around ten thousand. Then the new movie props collectibles have been added to GTA Online. Solomon Richard has had several uh, movies props stolen from the, his office. The police are not making enough progress in funding them. So Solomon decided to hire you as his private investigator by funding them. Retain all the 10 movie props to Solomon for rewards. Then two new arcade games have been added to GTA Online and can be purchased from the Pixel Emporium website. Um, I didn't try any of them yet and even I played one time only with these uh, arcade games. I'm not really into this. But anyway... Players can now play single player against all opponents in the arcade games, street games, gang wars editions. I'm not into this, but anyway, if you like guys, you can just try them. So, what is important also, 15 new set of off-road wheels have been added to GTA Online and can be purchased at LS Customs. Plus, 30 new sets of street wheels have been added to GTA Online. They look really good. I, li I, I like all of them. And can be purchased also at LS Custom. Then over 200 
new items and variant of clothing has been added to GTA Online for male and female characters. This can be purchased from any clothes stores. Uh, well, I'm going to see all of them. Maybe they are. They look good. Gameplay improvements. Players now have an increased cap on how many standard properties they can own. This has been raised to eight. Yes, because we already have uh, nine brand new cars, apart from the six from uh, from Benny's. So we have to have uh, extra space to, to park our cars. And then uh, now when we enter the casino, we uh, will be told um, how long they have uh, remaining before we can spend the lucky wheel again. Before we didn't know, we go to the casino, we spin the lucky wheel and then uh, we, we don't know how long this will take. Now they will tell us. Okay, perfect. Then, uh, also from the interaction menu, we can return our personal vehicle to storage. Uh, before we had to ha we have to be a uh, MC uh, president to retain vehicle uh, and we cannot do it with the um, v uh, we cannot do it with the CEO. Now you don't need to be any um, CEO or or uh, or MC to retain your car. You just go to your interaction menu and and uh, return a personal vehicle to storage. And also, uh, when we go to arcade, we can uh, purchase a snacks from uh, Windy. Go to Windy in the arcade, and then you can get the snacks from her. And also, we have a new spawn locations for uh, Pegasus system to increase the chances of requested vehicle spawn spawning successfully so we have more spawn locations for uh, Pegasus uh, vehicles which is will, will make the uh, uh, game go faster and easier and also uh, um, uh, they decrease the frequency of receiving calls from LGT um, about the businesses which is he was really annoying like every five minutes maybe he used to call yeah so now it's much better and also uh, the vehicles in Simon's uh, export request have been updated to increase the reward for successful delivery oh, okay good I, I used to have this when uh, when I didn't have enough money so it's fine and also they made like several updates for the open rear races, which is I'm not really interested in it. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, and uh, also we have in, uh, in GTA story mode, um, they fixed some issues resulting in the players uh, falling through the map when choosing to skip the taxi journey, which is okay. And also in GTA Online, uh, they uh, um, they have better stability and performance. They fix the issues that cause the game crashes, which is very good, and the freezes and other stability problems, which is um, very very good. And matchmaking and networking, they fix some issues caused players to get stuck on the black screen. Wow during transition between GTA Online and also uh, they fix some issues uh, that will make the players losing all functionality after trying to join friend session yeah it happened many times and let's see what they did also what do you think guys also they fix the uh, elite challenge balance so we sometimes that uh, we we're not uh, receiving it correctly and uh, also what they did the yellow hazard in jerry can also they fix it 
and maintenance gear for the uh, casino uh, heist missions. Uh, what they did also, um, okay, uh, we, we, we used to encounter some problems regarding Patrick McRae, the gunner, that, uh, and also I have so many comments from, uh, from viewers saying that uh, they cannot, okay, they find him, but even if they find him, uh, Patrick McRae uh, is not working, or um, the mission itself is, is, is just crushed by, by, by itself. So now they fixed it, thank you. And what they did, yeah, you remember in uh, Vault Explosive, we used to stuck in black screen after being killed. Oh my god, this is takes ages. And you have to even to uh, close the application and come back. Yeah, it was terrible. Uh, and remember also in the human labs in Casino Heist Mission Interfiltration Suit, the alarm was really high. Now they fix it. And what they did uh, also, we used to lose some functionality after walking out at the start of the casino heist mission the finale they fix it they fix the getaway uh, vehicles uh, to uh, maybe it had, sometimes it changed so we don't have what we we supposed to have and uh, there was like some incorrect help text that we pre we received in casino heist missions yes yeah, they fix this and uh, also there was like incorrect invade and persuade tank remember this one in the heist lobbies yeah so uh, they did it and i remember also in in heist flicker job scope out there was like kind of animating like page was animate talking during lester dialogue so this is annoying because especially for the new uh, uh, players you have to focus on what Lester is saying so Paige was like dis disturbing so they fix it <clears throat> and also so um, also in special cargo cell missions there was like uh, we were not able to complete it um, and we used to lose some cargo yeah, this is done. And uh, sometimes we got the wrong lucky wheel prize. So also they fix it. And also uh, this happened to me many times that when uh, we have uh, two characters, one of the characters will lose everything in the arcade. I mean, not really losing, but you don't see anything. So they fix this one. Uh, there was like some also uh, true fate tracks, some custom uh, repair custom things that also they, they fix this one. And also in the uh, story missions of housekeeping, uh, we used to stuck inside the casino and not going out. Uh, now it's done. And uh, we used to stuck inside the casino uh, during the heist mission finale. So they fixed this one. Uh, and also the, we used to spawn outside the casino after we die in the uh, casino heist missions finale. Also they fixed it. <clears throat> so what else they did? And mm. the uh, prison break airplane uh we there was like no functionality of like we had some problems in the casino break uh, casino break uh, uh, sorry heist prison uh, uh, break uh, related to the plane uh, mission so also they fix it and uh, there was also some problem after uh, being leader in the casino heist uh, there was like kind of disconnecting and go back to uh, to 
GTA 5 also they fixed one in arena wars they fixed some issues uh, uh, before we couldn't be able to uh, play arcade games while in passive mode now we can um, and also they have some other things they fix them in adversary mode uh, uh, I'm not really interested in advisory mode. I don't like it. And uh, what else they did? Uh, they fixed some uh, uh, re issues uh, receiving incorrectly. Uh, this is the uh, uh, in the clubber uh, award. With uh, there was like a problem in receiving this uh, award. And also the monthly bonus reward. Also, this is we uh, on the uh, especially from the um, uh, completing the daily objective. So they fix this one too. Uh, in game menus and user interface, uh, they fixed the manage stock and supply bars in the master control terminal which is the one in the arcade that it used to display incorrect information meaning uh, they have like the the green bar and the blue bar one was for the supplies and one was for the stocks there was like a, can, some kind of uh, uh, mistake there so they fixed this one uh, also they fixed the incorrect text localization during some casino table games Plus, uh, there was like also incorrect text localization in the casino highest content. Uh, there were fixed also there was like a problem between uh, respawning in, ran in random places or last location. So I used to spawn in random place instead of last location. This is really hard, especially when you do uh, Bogdan uh, back to back. By the way, they didn't do anything to Bogdan, still working. So, good. Next. Uh, they cannot do anything to Bogdan. Anyway, they cannot do anything to Bogdan because this is not a glitch. And this is has nothing to do with... Uh, and they cannot punish any uh, player on doing the Bogdan back-to-back. -back. So, good news. Uh, they fixed also some issues regarding the incorrect seat capacity listed for some vehicles for for sale through the Warstock website. It's not only the Works, Warstock uh, website, also it's the other website. We used to have incorrect seat capacity. They some they they also they correct the missing interior map on the on the radar uh, during some sections of the casino heist. Uh, what they did to they fixed some uh, spoiler issues in the open wheel races for for some vehicles <clears throat> there was problem with this and uh, also the Karen Everon uh, the vented uh, uh, carb double vented uh, they fixed this one too and in the uh, Dinka Blista Kanjo uh, being incorrectly automatically repaired when entering a mod shop. So, uh, yeah, and also uh, uh, Rune Zaba, you know, this Rune Zaba thing, there was problem um, it going inside some garages, so now they fix this one. Uh, also, they, this is, was very important. Uh, they fixed uh, some issues that pre prevented players from uh, selling owned vehicles if a discount event was currently active on that vehicle, vehicle in particular. So, good. It sounds very good. Um, they, there was like some kind of uh, duplication. There was like a, a, a broken part of the uh, progen. Uh, PR4, they they fixed this one, and also the audio issue of the Stromberg. This was fixed 
uh, if you if you take this Stromberg to the arena shop workshop uh, property there was problem in the audio of the uh, Stromberg so now it's done uh, this is was very important the terabyte we used to call the terabyte but when uh, when we call the ter terabyte from the interactive menu uh, sometimes it doesn't arrive so now it's fixed and also um, in the weapon visual effect on the invade and persuade tank when recorded uh, and played uh, the uh, uh, the visual effect we couldn't see we, ca we cannot see the visual effect of the uh, weapon so now it's done uh, they fixed some issues related to some vehicles which is like the Willard faction uh, uh, Prosian uh, PR4 Bravado uh, Vapid uh, Overfold uh, there was like problem with it they fixed it they fixed uh, the uh, with Anis RE 7B and uh, Vulcar Nabula Turbo and Karen Sultan RS there was problem with this they fixed all the things They fixed an issue that caused players yacht access permissions to not be saved after settings hot top outfit to swimming wear. And uh, they fixed an issue that re uh, resulted uh, players being incorrectly able to purchase some penthouse decorations that they are not able to place. They fixed an issue uh, that caused some certain penthouse decoration to not be purchasable. So yes, that was true. I fixed this one. And also, uh, uh, we used to lose the camera functionality after driving an Impressor Mark II into the nightclub. Yes, that was true. Uh, they fixed an issue that resulted in players not receiving their purchased vehicle after choosing to store uh, to store it in the uh, MOC up in uh, purchasing. Also, they fixed an issue that re resulted in player losing functionality after driving a personal vehicle uh, out of the MOC. Uh, they fixed some issues. Uh, this is very important. That, uh, but this is would be this is on PC uh, transaction errors that uh, they they have some uh, incorrect uh, uh, transaction errors for PC and uh, also they fixed uh, some other things uh, related to uh, this caused uh, the nightclub lighting a preview video on the website to not play correctly. And also the duplicate audio effect for some melee and the thrown weapon. Uh, this was in GTA Online. There was a problem with this, and the duplicate echo audio effect on uh, when performance a single shot with some automatic uh, firearms. Uh, and also there was uh, some uh, bad blood splatter effect on some outfits worn during the casino heist. They fixed this. This is not really that problem. And also uh, they fixed some issues related to the banker shooting range. I don't have it and there was no meaning to have it. Yeah. And yeah. So... So all, this is all the 92 changes has been done to uh, to the uh, GTA Online. Uh, I don't know if you know all of them. Uh, by this time, maybe you should try these changes and see them by yourself. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the video, guys, and uh, see you with the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and uh, hit the bell icon so you get notified with the new video out i want to thank all my subscribers so far um, this is still a new um, channel i'm trying my best to to have the um, good ideas and uh, some maybe uh, tips and tricks for gta to make the missions much easier 
So, uh, see other videos, guys. Maybe they are useful. And uh, don't forget the, the big like. And uh, see you with the next video. Ciao, ciao. Bye.